I'm not what I was expecting. So Okay. It's not the easy to find your favorite games. What <laughs> What are you doing to me? Where's the game? There we go. <laughs> we in. Anyway. Famicom! Tante Club or Famicom Detective Club Part 2 Remake of Famicom Detective Club Part 2 on the NES Sequel to Famicom Detective Club Part 1 Though as far as I know Star Wars is actually a prequel to Famicom Detective Club Part 1 Only released in Japan Until A few short months ago actually When both of those games were remade once again For the Switch and released worldwide for the first time I haven't played those games also because I'm not a visual novel guy, but also because I do not want to ruin this playthrough for me. And even though this original was only released in Japan, thanks to Demi Force and Tomato, it is in English. So we can play it. Let's conduct an investigation. I have no idea how long this game is going to be. It's not going to be a Phoenix Wright length, no. Also, it's not going to be Phoenix Wright gameplay. I know, I, I, I know not to expect too much. The following is a work of fiction, fiction, yeah, yeah, I know. The typical prelude. None of this is real. Just take our word for it. Right, the so game also also only be in, be in Nintendo Power, whatever that means. That is it a magazine. It all started on that one night three years ago. See him anywhere? No, not yet. He's bound to be out here somewhere, though. I was followed. This isn't looking good. Oh great. They're coming this way. I held my breath. Careful not to make the least bit of noise. But then... I accidentally knocked over a soda can. Hey you! Oh no. They found me. He's trying to get away! Quick! After him! I ran and ran, but the men relentlessly followed in hot pursuit. This game looks pretty good. Hoping to lose them, I darted around a nearby corner. However, a man was there, blocking my path. Whoa! What's the hurry, son? Uh, um... Caught completely off guard, I found myself just standing there as the two men caught up with me. You! Why were you running from us? We'll be having your name and address now, young man! It was only then that I realized that the two men were police officers. What seems to be the matter here? Eh? And just who might you be? Do you know this young man? No, but... This boy was suspiciously wandering around here late at night. When we called out at him, he fled. We had no choice but to pursue. Okay, Sonny. Why do you say we take a little trip downtown? Uh, just one minute, please, officers. I realize this may sound sudden, but would it be too much to ask let me handle this matter? What? And just who do you think you are, watching around in a police business like this? Takes to be a little bit faster. Wait a second. Isn't that... I just thought I'd ask him a few questions, nothing more. That wouldn't be too much to ask, would it? Ah, uh, no, of course not, sir. Where are we going now? Have a good night, sir. The officer's left. Ah, uh, thanks, mister. No, no. There's no need to thank me. But hey, 
Joke's thirsty. What do you say we go get something to drink? Huh? Ah, uh, okay. My mom never told me to go with strangers and have a drink with them. Drink whatever they offer you. I went with a man to a small coffee house. So, you've set out on a mission to find your long lost parents. Very commendable of you. However, I couldn't help but wonder, how are you doing? Is everything okay? It's alright. You don't have to say anything, if you don't want to. But if you don't mind my asking, where do you plan to go from here? You do have a place to stay, don't you? Ah, this game. Can we, like, is the manual save? No, it's probably checkpoints then. Let's think. Who is this guy? Can I trust him? Who is this guy? Metal Gear? Why do my thoughts sound so much different when you're talking? It's a typical looking coffee shop. He's a stylish sort of guy. Maybe about 30 or so? I've gone through like three voices with him already because his... <laughs> the environment of his face kept changing to a different mood. I have nothing to hide. Then... <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> seeing you brings back memories of who I used to be. I can't just leave you like this. I know this is sudden, but if you don't have anywhere else to go, I can't speed up the text either. You can stay with me if you like. Exclamation point. Ask about myself. It's remarkable how much of myself I see in you. Ah, don't think about it. Okay, talk about stuff and then... Joel repeats. Don't ask me how, but I see something in you. Yeah, just keep saying that. His name is Utsugi, apparently. We know that now. <laughs> I don't even know your name, Utsugi, son. I'm Shunsuke Utsugi. I'm a private detective. Really? Yes. Well, I'm sure you'll do what's best for you. But like I said, if you're in need, I can put you up for the night. I feel the need to be a good S Samaritan, just like everyone else, but this is different. I can see something special in you. Please, try to understand that I mean you no harm. Okay, it repeats. We have completed that. Take all the time you need to make up your mind. Okay, let's think about it. The police seem to respect him. He doesn't seem like a bad guy either. I guess he wouldn't hurt for the time being. Well, for tonight, uh, I suppose. All right, it's settled then. Shall we go? It's getting late. By the way, what's your name? Mm. We were not ripped off big time, do not worry about that. Do not worry, I would never do such a thing. This is it's probably very old, it's from the early days of the internet when people didn't know they shouldn't sell this shit. Because it's pointless. Anyway, now that I've wasted everyone's time a bit. Oh, is that just early? What did I, is, is this working? Yes, it's working. Okay. First name. We need a Japanese name. That's one thing I didn't say while I was talking gibberish across the time. Uh. Was the name correct there? Is it first name, last name? Because, well, either way, we only get five letters. Uh, we will make do with that. Oh, wait a minute. I have to go back. Because we need a last name. Oh, God. 
Surname. Random. Does that even work? I've never done that before. We can make that work. We can make that work. Have to modify it a bit. Whoa, what happened to the A? Ryuji Saito. Let me make a safe save, just in case it's the other way around. If it should be last name, first name. Oh, I'm Ryuji Saito. I mean, he... Mr. Saito. Okay, it's correct then. Okay then, Mr. Saito. It's a pleasure to meet you. And that's how I came to know Detective Fitsugi. Before long, he took me in and I started to train as his protege. It seemed like a good move, since I figured it would probably help me find my parents. As Utsugi's right-hand man, my job was to help out with whatever he needed to be done. However, one day... Something terrible happened. I never thought I'd ever encounter such a dreadful, terrifying event. It's something I'll never forget. It looks rather pixel, I'm not honest with you. Wandering alone throughout a schoolhouse and even one evening you suddenly... Ah, uh, hear someone call out for you from behind. Glancing over your shoulder, you see nothing but a lonesome girl standing there in solitude with a terrifying look of urgency in her eyes. That was not easy to read, I'm not honest with that. The girl in back. I think the official title is the girl who stands behind. Ryuji has been staying with Detective Utsugi for a few months now. During this time, he has faithfully worked by Utsugi's side, an ever-watchful trainee. However, one day, a phone call is taken ah, at the Utsugi Detective Agency. Something dreadful has happened. Hey boss, it's the police. It's been an incident. Okay, let them know we'll be down shortly. Chapter 1. Tragedy. As Utsugi and Ryuji arrive at the scene, they realize the police have already secured the area. Good day, Detective Saito. Hi. Yes? Okay, we're not talking. Okay, well, let's think first. What could have happened here? Well, first things first. I should probably try and gather some information. So the victim, what's what happened here? The victim was a local high school student. Her body washed up on the riverbank this morning. Anything else? She washed up under the riverbank here this morning. Okay, I get okay, the cause of death. The body was discovered some time ago, but unfortunately, we're still unsure what happened. We still know very little at this point. Uh -huh. Time of death. We still don't know- <laughs> Wow! <laughs> An estimation is impossible with this little information. You are very helpful, Mr. Gumshoe. God damn it. Insights. She looks so innocent. She couldn't have been much older than you. How old am I? Is this going to know anything useful at all? A, cor a coroner was ordered to come and officially review the scene, but he's running a little late. He should have been here when you arrived. A 
Perhaps the body drifts downstream to the spot. Rain has been known to strengthen the current of these river runoffs. It could have just been a simple accident. That's what my intuition tells me. Anyhow, so it's probably not that. If you think that's what it is, then it's probably not that. Yo, boss. It's okay, he's busy speaking with someone. Hmm, okay. Oh! Man, you look around. Look at him. Yes? Why are you looking at me like that? Well, you. This is where they found the body. It's on the outskirts of town. Also, she stayed under the lap. The body has been covered with a thin vinyl shield. Someone's gonna say that she's like. under the sheet. The river? This is where they found the body. Yeah, I know. Can I can't look at anything? So, okay, wow, okay, it's, it's no Phoenix right. Like I said, I wasn't expecting it, but I'm still underwhelmed. Sanity. In addition to the police, a few curious onlookers have started to gather around the scene. This was before phones with cameras in those, so at least no one's filming this shit. Could really have been just a simple accident. I ought to get a closer look at the body before I start drawing any conclusions. Can I just quit? What does that mean, quit? Oh, this is how we save. And then you don't necessarily quit. I guess I could quit? No, I can't quit with a quit command. This is a save. You have to quit manually. Sure, whatever. This is fine. Would it be alright if I inspected the body? I apologize. We can't allow anyone near the body until the, the coroner arrives. However, we've cleared you for access to investigating the area where the body was found. That is fine. It's... Check the place found. This is where the girl was found, apparently. Piles of garbage have accumulated along the banks. It'll take forever to sort through this mess. Find anything? I didn't do anything. <laughs> the corridor seems to be delayed. He shouldn't be much longer. Uh. Boss, you done yet? Let's get busy speaking. Someone. Man. Maybe I should have another look. Yeah, when in doubt, check again. Yuji goes down and takes another look at the riverbank. After sifting through the mess for a little while, Yuji discovers a notebook of some kind. Let's take the notebook. Yuji reaches into the muck and takes the notebook. It appears to be a high school student's. Hmm, let's have a think. Whose could that be? There are a lot of high school students here, including the one who died, and... That's gotta be it. Could this be hers? No way. Check notebook. Let's make sure. Hmm, there's a photo of a girl on the cover, along with a caption saying it's the property of Yoko Kojima, a freshman at Uchimitsu High School. I found this notebook. Really? It must be the victims! How did we not find that? It was right there! By all means, let the coroner have a look at it. Oh, he have to arrive. Ow! Sayuruji! <laughs> Yuji. Okay then. Nice to meet you. I already spoke with Mr. Utsugi about everything. Kind of a pushy guy, wouldn't you say? Heh. <laughs> well. Let's get down to business, shall we? Hey, victim, tell me. Bant! You're executed! Drowned! I've seen them all! But hey! That's why I get paid the big bucks! Ha ha ha! Dude, someone died! Ha ha! I have to see the body before I can give a statement. Oh, so you're just standing here talking to me before you do anything. What? Why are you wasting your time with me? Do your job! Ha <laughs> ha Let's check the picture together. 
Forensics isn't a pretty job, but somebody's got to do it. Be sure you're ready for what you see. It looks like the looks like the police haven't searched the body yet. She looks completely untouched. It's the girl from the notebook. Ah, so it is. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, don't hesitate to speak up. The face. Poor girl. Good checking. Is anything in her pocket? Nothing's in her pocket. It's probably where she used to put that notebook of hers. Well, let's do a check. I can't see any signs of a struggle. It doesn't look like there's anything significant there. What are you thinking? This is a corpse. I'm, I'm just trying to look at stuff. There's only so. There's nothing suspicious to look at. So I've tried everything. Should I check her ear or something? Yeah, I just don't see anything out of the ordinary. So, what now? I, I don't know. You tell me. Don't tell me you're getting squeamish already. No, I just don't know what to do. Take the girl. There's nothing there. Think. There has to be some sort of clue here. Okay, let's keep checking around. Pocket again. Then check the pocket. Have to be precise. There's nothing in the pocket. Want me to look at her neck or something? What do you want me to do? Her mouth. Look, there seems to be a small wound on her face. Did I not click on her face before? Ah, she probably got that while drifting downstream. What do you mean that? Is that? I thought it was hair. Is that? I mean, it it's still be hair. Not now. Oh no, it's not only over here. It was like under the mouth there. Eyes. Oof. Game is being very obtuse about this. Also, it's very difficult to move the cursor. Eye. Eyebrow? I'm checking everything. Hair. It's sweat, yo. They haven't checked her arm, I guess. I do not know what you want, want from me, really. There's nothing behind on the floor, really? Ribbon again? No, there's nothing. There's nothing here. We've checked Thoroughly. It has to be some sort of clue, but there's not. So what now? He doesn't. You're worthless, Coroner. Do we go back? No, we can't go back and only save. Hey, hey, hey. What else could we check? The floor? I mean, you check the floor. There's nothing, nothing there. Hmm. Is that still a hair? This this black here under the neck? No. Ah, uh, why is this game so hard? I mean, it's, it's not... Those Phoenix Wright pictures can sometimes hide something, sure, but this is a very small image. There's nothing here. I would have seen that by now. Let's just repeat. Let's check out the wound again. 
No, no, it's nothing. It's nothing. There's still nothing up on here. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Do I have to take something? I mean, do I have to take her face? being awkward about that, of course. Try to take a ribbon off. I mean, it makes sense. But I have to try stuff, you know? I know you're a teenager, but please, try to keep these those kind of thoughts to yourself. I'm, I'm just out of options at this point. Okay? Roll up a sleeve. Can't do that. Can't do anything. Can't take her ear off. Mike Tyson just bite right in there. I'm gonna need a walkthrough already. This is what the fuck. I, I've tried everything. <sighs> you want me to check around her neck? Didn't I do that multiple times? Her thick, wet hair is tangled around her neck. What? I, 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 I checked her neck, didn't I? Didn't I? Now that you've checked this twice, what do you make of that? Can we take that out of the way? You want to remove her hair from around the neck? Good idea, Ryuji. I was just about to recommend doing that. Ah, that's better. Uh, let's look at this then. There's no jewelry or anything. Wait a second. What are all those marks that I just noticed now? She's been strangled. If that's the case, then... Was this foul play? Or is she just into that? That could very well be the case, Yuji. It certainly looks like a strangulation. We'll be opening a case on this one as soon as possible. However, at that very moment, however, however that very moment, a blood curling shriek rings out from behind Ryuji. Yoko! Why, Yoko? Why? The girl gasps at the sight of the body. The man she's with isn't talking, isn't taking it much better either. Uh, excuse me? Who are you? I seem to know the victim. Maybe I should let them say what they need to say. Before I do anything. The man is busy being questioned by the police. Well, who are you? Yoko, say something. Please. She's too shocked to hear anything right now. This thing. They seem to know the victim. Maybe I should let them say what they need to say. Just let them talk then. Yoko, why, Yoko? Why? Yuck. Keep going. Okay. Well. <laughs> they want to say the same thing, apparently. You know? They're not doing anything else. You know... We only have very few options, so why is it so hard to find the right one? Tell me about that. We have to ask them about everything once. No, I don't believe it. And now. Okay. This case of how I was going to be so confused. Y Yoko, I can't believe this. Oh, now we do the same about him. Just let him talk. I am, uh, was one of Yoko's teachers. My name is Tatsuya Hibino. W why? Why did this happen to have? Why does it have to happen? Yoko seems to have been murdered. W why? Okay. Why is he yellow now? Why? Why did this have to happen? I, I don't think she's able to talk right now. Yeah, I noticed that too. You're barely able to talk yourself. 
think. There's nothing I can really get from either of them. Either of these two right now. They are too distraught. Mr. Hibino seems visibly shaking. He's as white as a ghost. But not as white as the girl we just looked at. I suppose I have to let them be for now. Utsuki is calling for me. Looks like we're done here. This is the Utsuki Detective Agency. Looks like we've got a homicide on our hands. Sure does. I placed the time of death at around 9 or 10 last night. It seemed like she was moved there post-mortem. A cold-blooded murder. What kind of person could have done such a thing? The police are doing their best. But, keep, but you're my best asset right now, Beauty. I mean by putting you on the case. Blah. I'm confident you'll pick up the scent of the trail at the high school. What's in your mind? Just making conversation. The girl. I contacted the school and requested Mr. Himino and the girl return for some questioning. Hello? Okay, Yuji. I'm leaving it in your hands. Um, sorry if I was a little weird this morning. Oh, dude, no. Don't worry about that. Who are you? Hi, my name is Ryuji Saito. What's yours? Oh, I'm Ayumi Tachibana. Oh, that's her! That's the protagonist of Final Fantasy Club Part 1, I think. So this is a prequel then. Also, as far as I know, like she was considered as a playable character for Smash Bros. Melee to represent some of the more obscure NES games, but they went with Ice Climbers instead. If that's correct, I heard that uh, somewhere. You're quite a close friend of mine. What about her? They're saying she was murdered. Who could have done such a thing? I don't know. So many you could tell me. Would you mind answering a few questions? I'll tell you what I know. Anything to help figure this out. Maybe not. He was terrified. Anything else? No? Anything else about her? Why, Hiyoko? No, I guess it means no. Alibi. Can you remember what you were doing around 9pm that evening? You think I'm the killer? I... I don't know what to think. Just formalities. What do you think then? Nothing. Why is she yellow though? Okay, I was thinking... Th think for a second that... Was I asked about her alibi, she locked up and I had to. And this yellow meant that I have to unlock her again or something? But I don't think the game, the game is, is that complicated. She still seems distraught, poor thing. Check the phone, real quick. It's a telephone. Mm -hmm. Where's the potted plant? Wrong game. This is the Utsuki State Agency. We always keep the blinds closed so we can peek through them, like in the movies. It's very important. I will take the phone with me. Since we don't have cell phones yet. Picked up the phone. Oh, I literally picked up the phone. Uh... It's not that... What, what is the Japanese police? Isn't that the same as it is? Police... I did it! <laughs> I'm so smart. What is that going What? A prank call? Don't you know that's... Per that's pure shibble by him. A death? Is it? Okay, so is like this? It's busy. I think it's supposed to be like uh, ambulance or fire department, but no, apparently not. Anyway, back to the case. Review. Yeah, it's not the review yet. 
You wouldn't happen to have any ideas about what happened to Yoko, would you? I can't think of why anyone would want to hurt her. However, one thing comes to mind. Huh? See, Yoko and I had this detective club. A detective club? I mean, what this game is named after. Together, we would investigate rumors around town and report what we discovered to the police. We always work together, investigating cases. I can't think of why someone would want to go specifically after her. Maybe this isn't a prequel then. I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. As far as I know, these games are set enough that it doesn't really matter. They build on each other, but you can play them in... in... any order. Come to think of it, she was recently investigating something on her own. It might be related. I don't know. <gasps> Punctuation! All by itself! I started the detective club with Yoko a while back to help fight crime. Uh huh. Start from top again. Do you know anything about what Yoko was investigating? I'm sure she was onto something. I could tell from the look in her eyes. Lately, she seemed different. What was that tingle just now? Was it important? How did she seem? It was like something was always on her mind. Lately, I could swear I was looking at a completely different person. That's all I know. I wish I knew more. Oh, I'm glad they cut you off here. They can ask again. Thanks for your time, Ayumi. Let me jot some of this down on my memo pad. Explanation. Oh. Important information is automatically recorded to your memo pad. You can enter the memo screen by pressing the start button whenever the menu cursor is flashing. Give it a try now. Aha. Uh -huh. Just on the bank, strangle time this has been 9, 10. What? 9 10 on October 10th. So 10 p.m. on, on the 10th of 10. Is that a coincidence? Probably. Oh, you was moved the fire. What's more them? Uh huh. We don't know much about her. Do any sex appeal with the least victim? Yep. Okay. Let me speak to Hibi now. My teacher didn't come. It's only me here. I don't want to already say he's suspicious, but I mean... That would be too simple, wouldn't it? But then again... <laughs> if someone was being stabbed with a knife and we found someone with a bloody knife in his hand within five minutes, I would also say no. That's too suspicious. It's, it's definitely not him. We can't just fall for that trap. Yuji, how would you feel about a trip to Yoko's house? And I think these chapters might be longer than I think, so we're gonna save here next time. We're gonna go check out Yoko's house, see what we find there. Probably her parents. Until then.